How can you stop being offended by every little thing? Let's talk about that. But first, let's pray. Uh, God, I just pray that as we uh, begin to trust in you, that your your spirit, your attitude would transform us so that we would become who you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's dig into God's word. Our scripture reading today is from Genesis chapter 50 and Romans chapter 8. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said to one another, If Joseph is holding a grudge against us, he will certainly repay us for all the suffering we caused him. So they sent this message to Joseph. Before he died, your father gave a command. Say this to Joseph. Please forgive your brother's transgression and their sin, the suffering they caused you. Therefore, please forgive the transgression of the servants of the God of your father. Joseph wept when their message came to him. His brothers also came to him, bowed down before him, and said, We are your slaves. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You planned evil against me. God planned it for good, to bring about the present result, the survival of many people. Therefore, don't be afraid. I will take care of you and your children. And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Joseph said to his brothers, I am about to die, but God will certainly come to your aid and bring you up from this land to the land he swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. If you can truly start living according to this principle, you'll never be upset again. <laughs> and and I say that knowing that in all likelihood, none of us are going to get this perfect. We do still get upset. When people around us sin, we get offended by it. But Joseph realized that even through their sins, God was in control. God was sovereign. God was bringing about exactly what God wanted. And through all those circumstances, God was praised. God had brought Joseph to the point that Joseph was exactly where God wanted him to be so that many people's lives were saved. There are a lot of hard things that happen in life, but God is working all of them for the good of those who love him. And we're called according to his purpose. In other words, we're to share the same concept with other people as well, just like Joseph did. When people offend you, you don't have to be offended. In fact, you can bless them even when they curse you. Just like Joseph did, we can comfort them and speak kindly to them. It never addresses whether or not Joseph believed his brothers, whether he thought that they were telling him the truth about their father and what their father had said. But ultimately, I don't think it matters. I kind of think that Joseph knew that they were lying about what their father had said. And yet even that, he wasn't offended by it. He knew that God had a plan and that God's plan was perfect. We don't have to be offended by the sins of others. Um, we can simply love them even while they continue to sin. Love them because God loves them and God loves you. And realize that through all of this, God's purpose stands. God's purpose is love because God is love. So bless and do not curse. Pray for those who persecute you and love. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.